The next tip is simply the Alt key on the keyboard. So the Alt key, or uh, sometimes on Mac, it might be referred to as the Option key. Now, why is this key so important? Well, simply, it is an actual key. It opens the door to so many different options that usually you would spend a couple of seconds or minutes on trying to find where it is exactly. So let's just quickly dive into the options that we have. So here, for example, at the bottom, I have some text. Now, this text is currently using bullets. Now, what if I want to change the bullet that we're using in this text? Well, you would have to open up the bullets and numbering options, right? Right. Where are these located again? Well, I think they might be, I'm not sure. Maybe they're somewhere here and then here at the bottom. Oh, look, there they are. This is what I was looking for. But this again, this takes way too much time. So what you do instead is you just select the paragraphs uh, where you would like to change the bullets and take a look at this top button here. You can see this is just a bullet list option. See, without bullets and with bullets. If I hold down the option key or the alt key on Windows and press that same button, boom, I have the bullets and numbering options available. I can just go ahead and select a different bullet. Easy, right? What if, for example, you are using the baseline grid for your basic text? Okay, the baseline grid. So we know where the baseline grid is located. So it's this button here. It's currently not aligned to the baseline grid. Before you align text to the baseline grid, we all know that you basically have to set the baseline grid settings first, right? And the baseline settings are always based on the leading of the text that you would like to apply this to. So usually you would go up here into the InDesign preferences and then you have to try and find where the base on grid options are. You know what? That's all fine. Just put your cursor in here. You have in the paragraph section, the baseline grid options, hold down the option key, click, and you're in the preferences in the right department, in the right section. And now it's just a matter of typing in the same letting as the value you have for the text that you're using. So again, another click to alt and then have additional options. Let's take a look at other types of things that we can do with this. Let's say that, for example, we are looking for a drop shadow effect for this specific frame that we have here. Yes, this is the drop shadow effect. So I have a drop shadow applied now. But what if I want to change the options? Alt click, it will give you the effects panel. Again, more options. What if, for example, you are working on, let's say, the text I have here. And let's say that you do want to change some of these dimensions here. Uh, to let's say uh, like so square feet or square meters. So you basically have to work with subscript or maybe a superscript depending on how you'd like to apply these kinds of things here. Same thing, so we have these options to change all these settings, but how do you set the size of subscript and superscript? Again, you just simply alt click and it brings you to the right preferences. So the lesson that you learn from this here is just alt click anything you have, just alt click everything and it will bring you to that specific part of InDesign. So same thing here, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a menu item or a window. If I were to take this here, so this is just a regular image. See the linked icon? If you hold down the alt key and click on the link icon, it will actually open up the links panel for you and select the link itself. Again, this is a huge time saver. You can use this every single day. Same thing, for example, if you were to alt click on text wrap, it will open up the text wrap panel, for example. If you are using something like an anchored object, let's just quickly say, for example, um, that we would have a picture and I'm going to just paste this for now. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste this in here. So again, if you have all sorts of different options here, see the anchored object icon, alt click, you have options. So alt click everything and see what you can find because this is really, really going to help you move forward. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.